Morning. My frosty pipe going on as everybody else has done it. Put a little face on it. And uh, I got, well, I don't have a holiday blend in it today. I looked through my, through my cellar and I decided that Shelby Foot Second Breakfast, the uh, kind of the concoction I put together was was a thing for this morning and it tastes, tastes pretty good. So, yeah. Little Harney and Sons hot cinnamon sunset. And uh, using this wonderful lighter from Greg over Tunnel Take. And Greg, that was a wonderful gaw. I haven't got to thank you in person yet. So here I am. And oh, using this thing too. I've used the heck out of this. Yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. Holds a pipe really nice in them grooves right there as well. So yeah, thank you, Greg. And the other stuff was tremendous too. I also like to... Uh, Point out another cool cat, and uh, we know him as Israel, but uh, let's just call him brother, shall we? Because brother, that is one cool Christmas card. Israel sent me a Christmas card, and uh, I don't know if he sent any more out there. I like to think I'm special, but yeah, you know, my wife calls me special all the time, and then she says something about Ed at the end of that. I don't, I don't know who the hell Ed is, but anyway, Israel, beautiful little note, and. Uh, great Christmas card and I think I'm going to keep that up all year because it's just way too cool my friend it's just way too cool and Israel to you and yours and to everybody Merry Christmas uh this will probably be the last time you see me uh until uh well probably sometime after Christmas so yeah I hope everybody kind of kind of well I don't we don't need to make videos I'll just you know, spend time with your family and friends and, and, and enjoy things so yeah Merry Christmas, and I'll drink to that. Uh, thanks for all the kind comments on the uh, video I put out yesterday. I'm, I'm leery about putting my guitar videos out. The only reason I really play is because, well, I write a lot, and uh, that's what I really use the guitar for. And 30 years of concrete and arthritis since the nerve damage in my neck. My hands don't always work right. My fingers don't work right. I don't have a lot of feeling in this hand. So... I don't really pick as well as I used to. Not that I was very good at it to begin with, but I don't, it just, uh, some days I can't do it and some days I can. And that video took about three weeks to do, plus the editing was endless and yeah. I enjoy putting it out there. And if you don't like it, you can just click it off. But thanks for all the kind comments anyway. And, uh, and uh, there will probably be more to come of that. Uh, I still haven't got one of my cigar boxes out yet, and I haven't played one in a while. So i got some practicing to do before I just throw that out there. But we might get around to one or two songs on, on uh, well, the cigar box guitars here in a while since it's winter. And, uh, and uh, Israel and my friend Central Cal Piper and Saw Gunner. Uh, the news right now is I've got doctor's appointments until February 3rd third so here's the deal february 8th it's planned it's scheduled i already told my buddy in tucson he's already got the bed made in the spare room and uh yeah i'll be out that way about february 8th at least rolling into tucson and then we gotta make plans to hook up and sit around smoke a pipe and tell war stories or just stories in general I'm really good at telling stories If I don't like the way I told it the first time, <laughs> tell it a different way the second time. Just kidding. Just kidding. Well, maybe because, well, I'm old and I can't remember what I said the first time half the time. <clears throat> Shelby Foot Breakfast is good. I haven't had it in a while. It's a, uh, well, a blend of Shelby Foot after you've mixed it with half and half and Edward G. And put it together, made it Shelby Foot. And uh, then I split that one more time into a half and half with uh, 
Well, uh, second breakfast that Smarty Bob turned me on to, and I still thank Smarty Bob for that because I love that stuff in the morning, and uh, and it goes very well in the Shelby foot. Guys, give her a try. It's pretty tasty. Very tasty. Anyway, it's uh, it's Flannel Friday, and uh, yeah, so. It's also Freedom Friday from what I hear, and uh, I haven't done one of those yet, so uh, I used to have about 60 guns laying around my house. I, my, my kid has most of them now, and uh, I can't put a gun to my shoulder anymore, and I'm not really a handgun guy. I've got a couple. Um, nothing better than a shotgun and a rifle to me, and uh, I just can't stuff them to the shoulder no more. Um, it doesn't work. However... I've kept the 22 around. Yes, yes. This is a uh, this is a Remington R12. Uh, it's a hexagon barrel. Yeah, right down that thing. It's hexagon barrel. Uh, it's pump. Uh, it's a long rifle. Keeps longs. And uh, it's, I, my cousin gave my cousin's a gunsmith, and he gave this to me as a gift uh, quite a few years ago. And uh, it's truly a great accurate gun so I still shoot it and it's from the turn of the century a little after maybe um, but the significance of this gun or the kind of the cool thing about this gun is these were produced by Remington to well when you go to a carnival or the fair and you shoot those ducks yeah well that's what this gun was for so they shot 22 longs at carnivals and fairs at the ducks in the row, and that's what this gun was really produced for. And uh, it's a great little game gun; it works truly good. And uh, and uh, I've shot quail with it. I've shot uh, rabbits. And and the quail, yes, I dry gulped them; they didn't get up in the air. And I've shot a couple pheasants with it. A lot of targets. Uh, never had to shoot at anybody yet and I've never shot any ducks in a carnival with it because I don't think they allow that in carnivals anymore but it's just kind of the history of that gun for what it was used for when it was kind of produced they were they were used to shoot targets in carnivals and fairs with 22 long rifle shells and actually my cousin told me they did make a special shell for it so I don't know if it had like a BB in it or something I don't know but he never got in detail on that he's He's pretty well up on his gun, so, yeah. Anyway, that's my, my Freedom Friday story for Freedom Friday and, uh, well, Flannel Friday. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, I'm not sure what else I have to say. Tramper Scott, I'm going to try to get your thing in the mail today. I'm going to try to get your thing in the mail today because I need to go to town because, well, I need to go Christmas shopping. Yeah, I haven't started that yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who, yeah, that's just me, I don't, over the flyer, Greg, but yeah, I haven't started Christmas shopping, and that's, that's kind of how I roll, uh, yeah. I never know what to get anyone, and truly during the year I buy myself whatever I want when I see it. I mean, within reason. I mean, I don't do silly purchases like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, kind of sometimes. But, um, yeah, so it's really tough for me to start Christmas shopping. And uh, I just, any, anymore, it's like, you know, let's just give kids money and let them get their own thing. My granddaughter, however... I hope she's not watching because she's a year and a half and she understands pop sometimes, but yeah. I think I'm going to get her a Dodge Ram truck from Tractor Supply. One of those little crawl in the battery charge things. Yeah, that's kind of my idea. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to pull the trigger today. <laughs> Freedom Friday, right? Yeah, so I can do what I want. Um... Yeah, she we were tractor supply a while back, and she wouldn't get out of the thing. So I think I'm going to... She likes vehicles. She's nothing better than punching all the buttons and knobs and turning them and honking the horn in the car when she's riding down the highway with Grandpa in his lap. I'm kidding. When it's 
not on and the keys are out of the ignition for anybody that's going to lose their mind over what I just said. But anyway, uh, hope you're all rocking your flannels today. Uh, hope you're just having a good free day in the United States of America. Uh, yeah. And I'm not a whole crazy person on the America thing and all that, but, you know, I still believe a little bit. So, anyway, um, tip of the haberdashery, hasta luego, catch you in the next, and don't forget to shake them jars, and, uh, and, uh, if you want to, bury your arms, I guess. I don't know that rhymes, so I couldn't think of nothing better to say. Anyway, adios.